Allen. Instincts typically kick in when we are protecting our property, but those same instincts could cost your life when it comes to catalytic converter thieves. Denver police say these thieves now have started posting armed lookouts while trying to steal the converters. In fact, just last month, a victim narrowly dodged a bullet from one of those lookouts. And Denver 7's Patrick Perez explains why as expensive as catalytic converters are, they're not worth your life. My husband could be dead now. It was just last month when we spoke with Jacqueline Gehrig about the terrifying encounter her husband had with a group of thieves. The guy pulled out a gun, aimed it at my husband, said, let the guy go. My husband said, no. He, he said, you know, you just need to leave. And he then pointed the gun at my husband's head and fired. Luckily, it missed. All of this because he came outside their Jefferson County home to check on their cars after hearing a grinding sound. They had half the catalytic converter cut off. Turns out while one man was underneath the Honda sawing the catalytic converter off, another was standing by as a lookout and armed with a gun. It was 6.05. The sun was out. I mean, it's broad daylight. Now, Denver police is warning others to not approach anyone stealing your car parts. In the last two years, we're aware of 135 incidents where somebody has encountered somebody that had a firearm that was acting as a lookout while the other person was stealing a catalytic converter or attempting to. Christine Downs with DPD says while she's not aware of anyone in Denver being injured, the close call experienced by Garrick's husband shows how quickly a theft can go wrong. Don't hesitate. Call the police. Make yourself a good witness. Be safe. Protect yourself. Don't engage with these people that are committing these crimes. If you can believe it, there have been already more than 500 catalytic converter thefts in Denver in just the past three months. Denver police has some information about how you can prevent yours from getting stolen, like welding some bolts together and etching your information to make it harder for these thieves to steal it. We'll have more of this on the DenverChannel.com. For now, in Denver, I'm Patrick Perez, Denver 7.